Good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning. Um, it's about 10 to 11. I'm just finishing getting ready. Um, we're like up a little bit later and getting started a little bit later because Toots was up a few times last night. Which is absolutely fine but we were just a little bit more tired this morning. So yes, we're getting there now. Stephen's giving her her bottle and I just need to get her dressed. After I get myself dressed, look at my necklace. Mama, how sweet is that? Um, it was a gift from Flory for my birthday. She saved her pennies. Um, but it's really nice, Mama. And then I'm just going to lay it up with a second necklace, which was a gift from Stephen for my 30th birthday, which is like over a year ago now. It's hard to believe that. Anyway, I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to do something with my hair. I don't really know what because I've got this weird postpartum, I'm going to deal with this after, this weird postpartum hair growth, right? So basically my hair fell out in like major clumps and it got in a really bad condition. It was after I stopped breastfeeding. Um, look at the wee spikes. And uh, now it's grown in again at the front. I don't know if you can see this. Do you see all this little like spikiness? It's so bizarre, so I never really know what to do with it, but it's in quite good condition today. So I think I'm just gonna like straighten it or curl it or something. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go put my necklace on, do my hair, and then we're gonna get ready to go and get in the car and get on the road. We are in the car, we're heading to Ullapool, we're like an hour late. <laughs> never mind, we plan to leave at 11, but if you've got kids, you know what it's like. Oh my goodness, this is like proper winter wonderland. Wow, it's actually beautiful. A lot of places in Scotland got snow last night, but we didn't. But there's a definite frosting, sort of icy look to the place. So yeah, we we left. It's 10 to 12 and we'll get there probably just after 1. So that's the plan and we're going to go and find somewhere to have food. We had some lunch, it was very nice. Did you enjoy your fish, Stephen? Oh, I loved it, beautiful. <laughs> Mine's was really nice, I can't actually remember. Oh, it was buttermilk, battered buttermilk chicken on a flatbread with all these amazing flavors. And it had like, I think it was a Caesar dressing and it had like pickles and gherkins, it was beautiful. Now we're just having a little wander along. I'm gonna see if there's any nice wee shops. There's like a few little places, that's an outdoor shop. Um, this is so awkward vlogging in public, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really nice and it's absolutely freezing. So we'll keep going and see what we can find. We are heading back to the car. We, I just went into the shop because it had like little Christmas decorations in the window, but I actually didn't find a Christmas decoration. But randomly, I've bought a top, a shirt. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head back to the car and we're just gonna get on the road because it is quite frosty and icy. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, but obviously the drive might be a little bit nippy and a little bit skiddy at points. So we'll just get home, get cozy, and of course it's strictly night. So I'll force Stephen to watch Strictly. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's not his favourite, but it's nearly coming to an end. Actually, I just saw a notification on my phone that Nigel, do you remember Nigel? Was it Dirty Den's son? In uh, Senders. Uh. Nigel's out because of an injury. So he's no longer in the competition. I am in the kitchen. I'm just going to finish off this vlog and I'm just going to have this tea. Oh, it's so warm. Um, 
Stephen made me, a, made me a mug of tea and I really fancied this puka tea that my friend Amanda got me. Shout out to Amanda if you're watching. Uh, Nighttime berry. It is actually really nice. It's really tasty. It's just a wee bit different, you know, from like a standard cup of tea. I'm finishing this vlog off on my phone. I'm not actually sure if I'm ruining the quality of my camera footage, right? Because I've been like Wi-Fi, wireless, don't know what the term is, um, sending footage. So essentially there's like a wee button on my camera and I can send it to my phone without a cable, but I don't know if that diminishes the quality because I don't think that this, the footage before this looks particularly good quality, but it does on the camera. So I'm thinking that's maybe the problem. So I need to have a look tomorrow and see if I can find a cable that will allow me to put it into my phone via a cable because I'm not sure what I've got. So anyway, I thought I would just finish this on the phone. Um, I got a few books today, so I'm going to share them with you. First of all, I got this one for Flory, which is absolutely beautiful. It's called Nighttime Around the Moon by Britta Teckentrap. So I don't actually know who she is. I need to look her up, but it is an absolutely stunning book. It's really aesthetically pleasing and the story is just so gorgeous. So it's like all about the moon in different places of the moon, like in the forest. I'm trying to think what my favourite pages were. This one at the end is absolutely beautiful. It says, so when you close your eyes at night, the moon reflects the sun's soft light, shining down with a silvery glow as we dream our dreams in the world below. And look how stunning the illustrations are on that page. And then has another favourite page. What was the other one? I really like the penguins as well. Snowflakes fall on frozen ground. Swirling, twirling, they make no sound. Under the moon huddled together, penguins seek warmth in the icy weather. See, it's a very nice book and it has like little moons throughout um, on different pages and stuff. It's really, really nice. So that was for her. And then I got myself Murder on the Christmas Express. I guess it's like a little play on Murder on the Orient Express. Um, maybe it's just a funner, more lighthearted, well, it's not going to be lighthearted, is it? Because it's about murders, but a different version, but similar, I guess, maybe. Um, it says, in the early hours of Christmas Eve, the sleeper train to the Highlands is derailed along with the festive plans of its travellers. But that is only the beginning of their problems. When the body of one of the passengers is discovered in the locked room of her cabin, all the evidence points to murder. With the train stuck in the snow in the middle of nowhere, it's up to former Met Detective Ros Parker to find the killer before they strike again. Yeah, so that sounds really good. I'm very excited to read that and it's like an absolutely gorgeous cover. But anyway, that's really it. We had such a nice wee lovely day. Um, and then came back and I've just been doing a few bits around the house. I'm going to hang some wash in. I've got bottles to do. Um, I actually had, it was weird, I had one of these ocular migraines tonight um which i get occasionally so it's not a migraine but it's like the aura that you get before a migraine but that's all i get and it lasts about 20 minutes to half an hour and then it disappears so it's like my vision's completely affected i can't see and, and i get like a c shape and my eye and it's all like fuzzy and sparkly don't know how to explain it but then when it goes it leaves me really tired so i'm really drained so i'm probably just gonna do the wash in the bottles watch some videos whilst i do it and then probably head to bed i'm gonna have a look at the quality um and see if i can sort that because i'm not sure what's going on there but i don't think it's as good as it is on the camera all right i'm gonna go i will love you and leave you tonight and i will see you tomorrow for another day good night <laughs>